Before you can control the unknown sense, you must first learn to see through the eyes of yesteryear, young disciple. Your mind stores every single detail of everything you've seen. Close your eyes and say goodbye to today. Focus, breathe, then open them anew. And yesterday is here again.
I respect you, in spite of it all. It's not easy to observe the rule of St. Francis these days. And why don't you observe it as well? Science, logic, and history bid me otherwise. I feel like neither Giuseppe nor I have been just with you. For that, I apologize. <laughs> I knew you would come to your senses as soon as that Italian devil lost his grip on you. Dead dogs don't bite. You disgust me. You're a clueless, tattletale, brown nose who doesn't understand what he copies. And it's not just the books. It's the rule of St. Francis and all of that meaningless nonsense you observants constantly repeat. I'd rather be a brown nose than end up covered in shit, Brother Yago. And that's exactly how you will end up. Why did you have to die? Who knows? Those Greek gods you love used to claim the beautiful first. And I don't mean to brag, but between you, Botillo, and me, there's just no comparison. I will never forget you, brother. Botillo sure won't forget me. At least not until you find out why Father Hines calls him so much. Did Hines give you a proper Christian burial as promised? I think you know the answer better than I do. Whether you're ready to admit it is another story. You said you appreciate me for my talent with languages. What will happen the day I'm no longer useful? Have you ever seen me do someone harm? Don't fret. Although, you are the devil's son. How could you ever cease to be useful? You knew that Giuseppe would die upon reading the book, didn't you? All I had were suspicions, the same as you. When the Inquisition captured me, you found the dead body of my friend Alonzo, whose recently deceased corpse could pass as my own. Isn't that too much of a coincidence? I believe you have reached your own conclusion. But remember what I always tell you. Chance does not exist. It is Satan's hand. And sometimes, it uses our own to achieve its goals.
Save Toribio? About last night. Nothing happened last night. Nothing! Do you think that Hines knew what was going to happen? You take that back. Father Hines is a saint, not a murderer. Where's the library? I don't know. Come on, you often disappear with Brother Hines. I'm sure that's where he takes you. Of course. I'm the best copyist in the Abbey. And who else would he trust to copy the secret books? And? He always blindfolds me, just like last night. It's better that way. I won't have to resist the temptation of reading heretic texts. When Giuseppe started to bleed, you did nothing to help him. It was the devil's doing. That was Satan's blood. It could have contaminated me. I helped him. Then get away from me! Later, upon returning to my cell, I thought I heard whipping in yours. That's not true. Do you remember that the abbot prohibited self-flagellation? Do you? Why? Why can't a pious man pay for his evil deeds? What evil deed did you perform last night? I thought nothing had happened. Go with God. About last night. Nothing happened last night. What do you think happened exactly? Didn't I tell you already? It was the devil's doing. He has possessed that book. I thought the devil specialized in possessing people. Are you really that naive? He can possess the very air you breathe. I heard that about two years ago, in a village far away, the devil possessed a hog so that it would devour the son of a noble. That's amazing. What are you copying? <laughs> A text lacking in righteousness. Hortensius by Cicero. If the book is everything you say it is, why are you copying it? Because that cursed father Ezekiel is contaminating the soul of our dear abbot. He manipulates him with his science and his art to lead him off the righteous path. I wouldn't rule out the use of magic either. But was it not the very same book? That led St. Augustine of Hippo to embrace faith? What's that? Oh, yes, yes, but God can write straight on crooked lines. That does not prove that the book is not impure. Furthermore, St. Augustine was a sinner before he was a saint. Grant me chastity and continence, but not yet. Pervert. You must be thrilled, now that Giuseppe is dead. No one will ever call you Botillo again. Shh. Remember, we know nothing. Calm down. I'm not going to tell anyone. But the devil can hide anywhere. Only God knows who is watching us and where from. You must be thrilled now that Giuseppe is dead. No one will ever call you Botillo again. Shh. Remember, we know nothing. What was that, Brother Botillo? I can't hear you. You're acting just like him. I expected more out of you. May I come in, Father Hines? My door is always open to you, Brother Yago.
I don't understand why you always favor Brother Terebio. You are the better pupil, no doubt. But you'll be better off if you draw a little attention to yourself. On the other hand, commending Brother Toribio helps me win over those he sucks up to. The observance. What do you think of Father Ezekiel? He stands up to the observance and understands the world through reason. So brave and yet so naive. The only reason that governs this world is that of your father, the devil. I do prefer him over that gang of lunatics, no doubt. But I must proceed with caution and not show him too much esteem. By the way, he should be showing me how that printing press of his works sometime soon. Don't you think our abbot is a saint? Oh, no doubt. He has a view of the future, and would certainly embrace anything that Father Ezekiel and the like propose. But he knows that without the observance, he would lose his grip over the monastery. That's why he tries to please them. And he's not the only one. I know you're not fond of Father Diego and the other observants. How could I be? Their insistence on returning to the rule of St. Francis is ridiculous. Their idea of poverty makes me laugh. You need money to preserve the knowledge of books and a full stomach to think with clarity. But you pretend to like them. I must. If not, they'd rally against me in my library. They'd find out what I'm hiding sooner or later. And they wouldn't like it. What makes you so attached to Ursus? His gratitude. Just as yours bonds me to you. You saved Ursus's life as well? What had he done? Oh, I... I don't even remember. You've forgotten? When the Inquisition wants to execute someone, they don't need an excuse. Who cares? You said you would grant Giuseppe a Christian burial. Have you done so already? Ursus took care of it before the morning prayers. Don't worry about it. I'll pray for him. Don't waste your prayers. Keep them for you and for me. But send them to your father, Satan. Beg him to grant us the ability to read that book. Where were we last night? It's best if you don't know. Why? You are my most prized possession. I don't want to lose you. What if I had read the book? Would you have left me to die? Not in the slightest. I wanted you to see the power of the book, but you're not ready yet. What if Terribio had read the book? That coward! He would never have even tried. I only took him to incriminate him. I was afraid he'd badmouth me to the observance. Now he won't dare. The book has a Y on its cover. What does it mean? I don't know, Brother Yago. My name is Miguel. Yago is only the name you gave me after helping me escape the Inquisition. It starts with a Y. Don't jump to conclusions. 